Welcome back. I'm Harry. This is Keep It Simple DIY. Today we're actually DIYing, kind of. I am building a box frame. Can you believe that? A box frame for a king size bed has come in this little box. I'm shocked. I recently got a new headboard, did not know I needed a box frame with it, so I currently have the slots from my other bed on the bottom, and that's not working out so well. So I was like, I need a box frame, but I did not want to get huge box springs because those are a pain in the butt. So I looked online and to my surprise, they actually had box springs that you could build yourself. And they had them in all different sizes. You could get one that was small, like two inches thick. You get a four, this is four inches. But they came up to like nine inches thick, I think maybe higher. I was quite impressed with that. And so I'm going to see if I can build this. And even better if I can get it on the bed. I might need to wait until my husband gets home to have him help me with this, but I'm an independent lady, so I need to try it on my own. <laughs> and so I am just opening this now with kid scissors, yes, and trying to not get my Milo. Um, these are actually kid scissors from when I was in young elementary school. It has it's almost faded off, but it has my mom's handwriting on it saying my name from when I was in, well, whatever age you're in when you get the pointed scissors. <laughs> All right, so of course, I'm in a dress, which no surprises there. Let's see what all we have. I cannot believe a box spring comes like this. This is just crazy. I might need to change though to do this. So this is the cover. That's clear, we'll set that up there. It comes with all of the tools needed, which is great. Hey, Milo. is we need to attach these guys to this and that'll attach right in here somehow or another. So I definitely think that I need more room. <laughs> Let me see if I can move this mattress. I don't think it's happening, but we can try. them going the way that made any sense for the bed. They were going parallel to the way that I sleep, but that's the only way they would fit there. So let's get these out of here. We did it. These guys out of the way. I've changed my mind at least for now. I think I need to at least get this started like this. So let's see here. Whoa, let's get these pieces in. I was just thinking about this part and I'm like, how will I do that on top of there? Oh my gosh, the cat's on top of that mattress. Okay, so we need T's, U's, and Q's. Are they labeled here? Oh, they are. That's fantastic. Tease. The tease go in the top. That makes sense. Okay, so there's that. I probably shouldn't have tightened that down. Well, I didn't tighten it that much. Okay, U and Q. U and Q. Okay. U's are these. Okay, so we need to go from one side through the other. Okay, 
Got one through. Now we've got to tighten it. Something I'm already not loving is you cannot screw these nuts on very far with just your fingers. All right, got those together. Now it says to open these a little bit. Let me move these out of the way. It actually says to open them all the way. Hmm, I think I might have to go up there now. Let's do it. Because at least now we have somewhere we can set this. So it looks like all we need to do now is add the other pieces for the sides and then we will connect them in the middle, connect them on all the sides, and then all we have to do is put in the slats and put the cover on it. So let's see if we can do that. I'm realizing this would be a lot easier if I had room on the ground. So I'm going to connect this middle piece first, then I'll connect the sides because trying to get them all first, they're just moving around because I'm not on a flat surface. because that'll be extremely boring to watch. So I'll be back when it's time to add the slats. I have all the bolts tightened down. So now this is the easy part. I need to put the slats on. <laughs> was the perfect size. Anyways, thanks so much for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.